I think for all of us, the most challenging part of this show has been the time that we've had to put it together. Um, it's a little bit less time than most musicals of this um, stature, and been a lot of dancing, a lot of music to learn, and I have to say the cast and crew have just risen above and beyond my expectations. They've been terrific. We've had an amazing run of rehearsal and a lot of work to do because it's a really big show. You want your old dad to give you away. Well, don't worry, I'll be there. Uh, we've had about six weeks, but I know that the cast is putting in a lot of time rehearsing, doing all their numbers, uh, lots of homework, and so we know we're going to put on a great show for everyone come April 1st. Uh, the most challenging part has been the dancing for me. <laughs> um, doing my best, learning the choreography, things like that, um, and just getting the timing right and everything. The fun challenge is there are two surprise costume <laughs> costume appearances that will make the audience kind of drop their jaw a bit. For myself personally, the most rewarding part of doing this show, one, it's been an honor to do this during the 100th anniversary of the Community Players, and second, it's, it's just been great to collaborate with such a great group of people. I think my favorite part about acting in this show is just getting back into theater in general. It's been about five years since I've done a musical, and I randomly found this one online, thought I'd show up to the audition, and here we are. So it's just been really great getting back into doing something that I love so much. The celebration of theater on stage, backstage, off stage, um, in rehearsals has been really, really rewarding. Community theater seems to be a great place to hang out and meet people and uh, just have fun. Theater is a collaborative art, and this show, from beginning till at this point in time has been a collaborative effort. Oh, my favorite number to perform is probably the bows. I really love the numbers going from Mamma Mia to Dancing Queen to Waterloo. It's just a great time, high energy, and a great way to end the show. You want me to leave it there? Afraid of a love affair. But I think you know that I want you so. My favorite number is uh, Take a Chance on Me which uh, I do with Stephanie, Rosie, and Bill. They have their moment in the sun before the wedding, and it's a lot of fun. My favorite song in the show as a whole, um, pretty basic, but would have to be Dancing Queen. Every time the Dynamos are singing that on stage, I'm in the wings just having so much fun. The audience should expect a wonderful time here while watching Mamma Mia. I'm sure they'll be singing and dancing in their seats the entire show. They should expect to have a great evening of theater or afternoon of theater and um, just to let loose and sing and dance in the aisles. I hope they're expecting to have a lot of fun. Sing along, dance, enjoy the music, just have a great time. Everyone's gonna come into Mamma Mia having seen the movie or seeing other productions or just knowing the ABBA songs in general and they're gonna think they know what's coming but they don't. We have such an amazing cast. All the singing, the dancing, the passion behind the characters is just really gonna shine through.